Hey, um, I thought that in honor of um, reaching a thousand subscribers and the uh, the views and, and such on the Comfortable Miser parody video, that I thought I'd do um, a, a little rank and bass tier list. And I'll be ranking them just kind of based on how I feel and the general perception from what I can glean from, you know, the world and whatever. And then when I'm done ranking them, maybe do a little bit of adjustment at the end. Um, so yeah, uh, without further bullcrap, we're going to start with one that I think everybody can agree is like a pretty mid tier, um, a mid tier one. Uh, the largemouth bass is probably what people think as the platonic ideal of a ba of a bass, right? Um, it's kind of what, like, what everybody thinks about when they think of the bass. Um, cool. So I'm just going to slap that in B, B, B rank, B tier, B tier bass. Um, next up, the Alabama bass. This one's a little interesting. I think, well, Alabama's, some of the, some of the school systems and stuff in Alabama, um, leave some to be desired. Um, I think that, like, the food and the culture surrounding Alabama is actually pretty good. Um, we're gonna go with, let's, let's make this an A-tier bass. A for Alabama. Cool. Ooh, the Australian bass. Okay, so this is, you know, from the land down under. Um, we're, uh, they have a pretty cool accent, but that face, it's a... I don't know, that doesn't, this doesn't evoke, like, fear. Like, if you look at the face of, like, the largemouth bass, it's, it's this sort of, um, gives me, it gives me, like, chills almost. This looks like a, 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 a fish that would, like, sing to me, sing, sing sweet nothings at me. Um, D tier, D, D for down under. Uh, the blackfin bass, um, I think yeah, it's, got a good coloration it's got a similar uh, mouth structure to the largemouth bass um it's got an interesting name it's pretty on the nose um i'm gonna rank this right in b tier right alongside the largemouth bass i think that's fair Ooh, the black sea bass now that's interesting not only does it have this sort of um this look to this very unique look to it it's also like much much darker in coloration to the blackfin bass Hmm. Also, I know where it's from, which is an interesting uh, thing. Like similarly to the Alabama bass and the Australian bass, you kind of have an idea where they're where they're coming from. You know, and based on that, I'm actually gonna pull the Australian bass back up to see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the European bass. I don't know. There's something about that face I just don't trust. This might be my first true D tier bass. Okay, that's a D. What's next? The Choctaw bass, eh? Choctaw bass, European bass have very similar faces, but I think the coloration of the Choctaw bass is actually much more unique. Um, I don't, I, I don't really know where it's from. I think that's a, that makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, well, I don't even know what a Choctaw is. Um, we're going to shove it right into C, C, C for Choctaw at the moment. The Florida Black Bass. Now, I did some research. My understanding is that the Florida back Black Bass is actually very closely related to the largemouth bass. That being said, I do like a, I do like a fish that knows, you know, more about itself, more about its personal identity, on top of the fact that I don't want to really make too many people in Florida too angry, so I'm going to rank it right up here. Uh, I'm going to put it between the Black Sea and the Alabama Bass. Uh, mostly, uh, the reason it's not above the Alabama bass is because it is technically just a largemouth bass, or pretty darn close. So I'm ranking it right around there. The giant sea bass. Now, they don't, they're not much to look at, but these things are, like, legitimately huge. Like, massive, massive bass. They're the size of some sharks. Um, yeah, I mean, like, honestly, that's a pretty high-tier bass for me. I'm gonna... Let's see. It's actually pretty tough. 
Okay, I'm going to put it up here in A tier. I know A tier is getting kind of crowded, but I do I do actually really like this bass. Uh, and this bass might actually make it up to S tier simply because of its ginormous size. Uh, the Guadalupe bass. Um, similar face structure, a little bit more um, refined, I think, to the largemouth bass. Similar coloration to the largemouth bass and the Florida black bass. Um, I'm going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it right above the largemouth. Pull the black fin back there. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, not too interesting from its coloration. Looks, like I said, looks a lot like your standard largemouth bass. But, like I said before, I do like a bass that knows where it's from. Uh, the Japanese sea bass. Um, sea bass, not freshwater bass. They're from the sea. Saltwater bass. Um, it has an interesting fin structure. Uh, I don't know. I think that its coloration isn't necessarily something to write home about. Um, that's a C-tier bass. Mm, the Ozark bass. Now, Ozark Season 1 I thought was pretty good. Ozark Season 2 I thought um, wasn't quite as good as the first season, but it was, still, it was still pretty interesting. So I'm pretty interested to see where the show goes. Hopefully it's not cancelled by the time of this. So I'm going to put this... I'm actually going to put this above the Alabama bass. Um, because I'm excited to see where I'll go. And that first season was was very, very awesome. Uh, let's see. What's this one? The Pato Patognian Toothfish. Now this is the first one that doesn't have bass in its name. And this, this, this honestly looks a bit like... Uh, almost like a dinosaur. Like a prehistoric fish. Um, and even with a name like... Patognian. That that's that's actually pretty cool, and it looks it looks sharp. It like it's almost like it, it's an it's evocative of like a knife. Um, this might be my first S tier bass. Uh, it doesn't have bass in the name. Um, did a little bit of research. It, um, from what I can tell, it is a bass, um, but it looks it looks powerful. It looks really powerful. Oh, and based on what I said, giant sea bass should move up probably to there. Um, the Roanoke bass, probably one of the weaker seasons of American Horror Story. Uh, that's a D-tier bass for sure. Uh, the Rosy Sea Bass. Now this is a tiny little fella, um, and it's not actually always called the Rosy Sea Bass. It's I believe it's referred to as some sort of perch. Um, that's something I'm not a huge fan of. I, I the ident like identity is a big part of um, confidence, right? If you're if you're not sure of who you are, not sure in yourself, then you, it's difficult for other people to be sure in you. Um, but because I think it's pretty cute, let's put this in a high high C, huh, the high C's. Let's see. Oh, the smallmouth bass. Um, I mean, just semantically, like it has to be below the largemouth bass. That's a C tier bass. Let's see. Okay, the white perch. Now this kind of falls into a very similar situation to the rosy sea bass and the Patognian toothfish. Uh, it's another bass that doesn't quite know it's a bass. That being said, where the rosy sea bass wins points for cuteness and the Patognian toothfish wins points for pure badassness, this one loses points for just being doldrum, being boring. Uh, that's a D tier bass for sure. Um, this is the Swahani bass. Uh, Swahani bass. Once again, a similar coloration to uh, the largemouth bass, Guadalupe bass, Florida black bass, but its face is similar to that of like the uh, the the closer to the Florida bass, closer to the black sea bass. It's, it's got an interesting coloration, um, but because it's similar to things we've already seen, this is probably another C tier bass. I'm gonna put it just just above the smallmouth bass. Um, let's see. Okay, we got the spotted sea bass. Now this is an interesting one. It, it looks a little bit more fun. It's a funner coloration. Definitely looks like a fish from the sea, from the ocean. Not necessarily a freshwater bass. Um, I think this is going to be a high B-tier bass. Oh, the 
the white bass. Now, the white bass and the white perch, as you can see, if I put them next to each other, they're very, very similar. But the white bass knows who it is. And because of that, it gets higher rankings. Uh, put that right above the Guadalupe bass high bees for the white bass. Um, ooh, the red eye bass. Now, this is a bass that you only really see at nighttime. Um, yeah, it has very it has similar eyes to the small mouth, small uh, small mouth bass, Roanoke bass, Swanee bass. Uh, but I believe its shape is a little bit more refined. It looks uh, similar to the Guadalupe bass, similar to the small mouth bass, um, the red eye bass. Uh, it's a pretty uh, cool looking bass. Uh, let's put that right next to smallmouth bass. Kind of looks like they're, you know, squaring up, maybe falling in love. Uh, next up, we have the the shoal bass. Uh, the shoal bass looks kind of like a lame swanee bass. So let's shove that uh, right behind the European bass. That's a D tier bass. Um, next up, we have the spotted bass now that's similar to the spotted sea bass but because it doesn't look nearly as cool it actually looks quite plain this looks almost like something you'd see at like a fish market uh, on the reg um let, let's drop that low seas uh spotted bass with a yellow bass this 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 bass looks friendly to me this is a this is a friendly looking bass this is a bass that will tell you a story um, we're going to put that in high bees. This is going right there. Um, B tier bass, the yellow bass. Okay. Here we go. Now this is the, I'm going to butcher this name, the Malacathus grisius. Now this is actually a grouping of a bunch of different kinds of like much smaller, uh, ocean bass. Um, that being said, I do enjoy, I know this is almost contrary to the previous thing I said, like the identity, the uh, the understanding, but the mystique uh, and, the, and the mystery surrounding these things. Because if you look, this, look, the Wikipedia article of this thing literally just says it's a fish, um, which is insane. Um, and because I think it's kind of cute, it earns some points. That's an S-tier bass. Um, the striped bass. Uh kind of boring um you know showing up this late we, we've had things like the ozark bass giant sea bass the pentogian toothfish striped bass low bees b tier bass uh the shadow bass um i kind of it kind of seems like uh, like a like a villain almost you know like the shadow the shadow bass uh, it also looks it looks kind of similar to this black sea bass, at least from a fin uh, structure. Its mouth kind of looks close to, um, like maybe the black the black fin bass. Let's make that a high B, not quite as cool as the yellow bass. A little bit below the spotted sea bass. That's the shadow bass, B tier bass. Uh, the rock bass. Uh, I, I like its shape. It looks hardy. It looks taller than some of the other bass. A bit more stout, kind of like the dwarf of bass. Um, this is this is an A-tier bass for sure. Uh, is it cooler than the Black Sea bass? Probably not. Uh, sweet. Okay, next. A guitar, comma, bass. Uh, this isn't uh, a fish. Um, this is an instrument. D-tier bass. And this is the last one I have on the list. This is Big Mouth Billy Bass, um, kind of ubiquitous at this point. Almost every American household in the early 2000s had one of these lying around on their porch or, you know, somewhere, somewhere, maybe not the living room, other places in their house for sure. Um, and even like McDonald's used this, uh, used the visage of Big Mouth Billy uh, for their filet of fish commercials back in the 2000s. So that's for sure an S tier bass. And that's my ranking. That's my ranking for bass. Um, I think this is pretty fair. I think I gave some decent reasonings behind like where I put these certain things. Um, yeah, this is every bass ranked. This is my rank and bass tier list. Um, I'll leave it in, uh, in the 
in the description below there'll be a link you guys can make your tier list you can share them i'd love to hear where you put your bass where um where you choose to put certain things and and your and your um you know and, and like how you came to that conclusion i'd love to hear that um thank you so much once again thanks for a thousand subscribers freaking crazy um all right see ya